been such an incredible supporter of this show. You may have seen her on VH1. Uh, you may have also read some of her work on McSweeney. She's the author of The New Rules for Blondes. Please welcome Selena Kopic. <laughs> Cool to be, like Robin was talking about, recognized um, either you know here or there for doing stand-up or storytelling or doing whatever you do in life. It's pretty neat to be recognized. And um, I've been recognized only a few times. Uh, one time I was shit-faced on the subway, <laughs> which is a great place to be recognized for your stand-up. Um, it was my ex-boyfriend Kevin's friend's girlfriend. Uh, and she was like, oh my god, you're a comedian, right? Your name's Selena, you're Kevin's ex-girlfriend. And I was like, yeah. And she's like, you're really funny. And I was like, thanks, he's a piece of shit. <laughs> Which was a pretty nice way to be recognized, and he is a piece of shit. Um, and then another time, uh, more recently, I was recognized at the bodega near my nine to five job, uh, because uh, guess what, recognition don't pay the bills, you know? <laughs> so mama does have a real job. Um, so I was recognized at the bodega near my normal job, and uh, I used to work right by Grand Central, and I would go into this great uh, sort of bodega, like, you know, cold, hot, hot lunch, cold lunch place uh, almost every day. And the woman who worked there, the cashier, was very blunt and to the point, and she would stare at me a lot when I first started going in there. And she would just sort of check me out, and then finally one day she's like, are you on television? And I was like, mm not really television. Um, I was on this one web commercial. <laughs> like, how freaking D-list is that, you know? <laughs> um, kind of, not really, yeah. Um, but I, I generally am terrible at commercial auditions. Uh, I'm extremely expressive, and I'm big. Uh, sometimes I feel like the girl with the baby backpack from Swingers. Is that a weird de reference, you know what I mean? Uh, so expressive! Um, but... I do, terrible, I, I do terribly at commercial auditions because commercial auditions are all about subtlety. Oh, it's like a tiny glance and that changes the whole, you know, like, oh, God damn. What is subtlety? I don't freaking know. You know, like, I am not good at subtlety. My sister is a queen of subtlety. You guys might know my sister. She's uh, Jan from all the Toyota commercials. She's behind the desk. Welcome to Toyota Thon. Yes! Isn't she amazing? Everyone, go buy a Toyota. <laughs> No, don't. It doesn't affect her at all, so who cares? Yeah. She gets paid by Sachi and Sachi. Okay, yeah, anyway. Um, but, but it's too bad, because goddamn, did all the skills of subtlety get given to Laurel and not to me. Um, I don't do well on commercial auditions, although I do do well on character auditions. I recently filmed a uh, role, a very bizarre role, on this Amazon sitcom called Red Oaks. Everyone should watch it. Yeah, it's so good. Season two. Um, and in season two, basically, like, they sent me the sides and the characters, like, brassy blonde woman based on Robin Bird. And I was like, got it! Yes! And I did get the role, and oh my god, check my shit out, it's so good. Um, but, but my point is, I, I eat shit at commercial auditions every time. I'm like, why do you even send me? This is an exercise in futility, you know? Um, but, but I, I did think, I, this woman actually recognized me from the one web commercial I ever got. And it was for a product that is like a poor man's version of Spanx. <laughs> yeah, um, I would think, I, you would think that the most degrading thing in the world would be in a, to be in a Spanx web commercial, but no, no, no. No, there's an even lower level. <laughs> and it is a web commercial for a product called ShapeFX. And it is d literally like D-list Spanx. Um, a couple years ago, a couple female comedians were recruited by Shape of X, which is a great company. <laughs> okay, don't get me wrong. Um, <laughs> I love them. But they, um, they were going to do a series of web commercials that were very funny and lighthearted. And it would, it, the whole storyline was that each comedian was sort of cheating on her gym by wearing these Shape of X things. And they're like modern day girdles. Um, and they have some for your thighs and some for your stomach and they have one for your arms that'll like keep your thing, you know, like an assortment of like constricting things you could wear under your clothes. Great. 
So it was bizarre. I went on audition after audition for this. Like, they kept having callbacks, and I was like, who gives a shit? Like, <laughs> is this that important, really? Okay. Um, but so I kept going to their headquarters and going into their conference room and auditioning for these roles, and I thought the storyline was really cute. You know, it was, it would always be a confessional, and you would be at a coffee shop or at a restaurant, and you're talking about your confession. You don't go to the gym. You just wear a shape of X. Hmm, you know? So... Uh, I get the role, and it's me and like eight other of my friends who are female stand-ups. We all get cast, and okay, that's neat. So we're all filming separately, and I look at my script the day, you know, when I'm, they send me the script that I'm going to be filming, and it's not just a low-key thing in a coffee shop. Mine is one I'd never seen, and it's I am a yoga person, and I'm in a public park, and I'm having a temper tantrum because I use shape effects to hide my underarm flaps! <laughs> And I'm supposed to flap these loud and scream. And I'm like, okay, I guess we'll do this. You know, like all I'm thinking is like, Selena, this is the easiest $600 you've ever made. <laughs> so the day that we're shooting, we go to Central Park, me and a uh, film crew, and I'm in yoga pants and a little tank top and with this really sweet gal who's directing me. And I have to, you know, do all the lines and have a ten temper tantrum in Central Park and flap my arms and a whole crowd you know, is surrounding me. And they're like, what's going on? And I'm just like, ah! And it's like much more degrading than I even realized it would be, you know? But I'm thinking to myself, you know, I mean, whenever you do stuff like this, half of this shit never even goes anywhere. Like, I expected this whole, like, this whole ad campaign to be thrown up into a ball and thrown into the garbage. You know, and like, so many things you film, nothing comes of it. No one sees it. You, you know, like, so I was like, oh, this I'm sure will end up in the trash heap anyway. Who gives a shit? So I filmed this thing, whatever. My name's not on it. And I think, you know, nothing's going to come of this. Well, uh, as a, it, it turns out, they did release it. <laughs> and uh, the whole series, the big, like, teaser preview for the entire eight-part series was me <laughs> just going, ah! <laughs> like in Central Park. <laughs> and they actually bought some pretty clutch media space. Um, if you went to the website for like six months, if you went to PerezHilton.com <laughs> and you wanted to watch a video of some celebrity like falling outside of the ivy or like dra being shit-faced at Chateau Maman and being like, funny and Pomeranzi, before you could watch the video, you would see me. <laughs> being like, ah! You know, and and again, I foolishly didn't think that many people would see it until I started getting random Facebook messages from acquaintances, who were like, "Selena, was that you?" And I was like, "Oh God, like terrible." Um, my preview part, I and maybe I don't know if this sounds remarkable to me. It did at the time, but my little preview teaser got like twenty thousand views on YouTube which I was like, yikes, you know. Um, so anyway, cut back to the woman in the bodega. She's like, do I know you from like a commercial or something? And I'm way too honest to a fault. Like I should have been like, nope, I probably look like every other blonde chick out there. But instead I was like, maybe. I was in a pretty embarrassing web series <laughs> in which I flap my arms like a total psychopath and I scream and she goes, yes! <laughs> She does it too. She goes, yeah! <laughs> so then we're just flapping our arms at each other like this weird shame mirror, just like, yeah. And every time I went into the bodega after that, she'd see me and be like, yeah! So I guess it's actually not that sweet to get recognized. Thank you. <laughs> Comes the world.